Premier Comrade Mielikov. Comrade Agents, thank you for coming. Here's what we know so far. Ten years ago, the United States government covered up an invasion by an alien race known as Furons. And their primary agent was this Furon, Cryptosporidium 137. Dangerous, unpredictable, now deceased. So, what has been problem? The problem, Conrad, is that Furons can clone themselves and pose convincingly as human. And they use these abilities to put Cryptosporidium 138 into the White House. And the American people are not noticing? <laughs> ah, right. Pull the other one. Even worse. This new crypto clone contains pure Furon DNA, harvested from human brains by Orthopox 13, mastermind of the invasion. He also bears a mysterious new mutation, referred to only as the package. Ooh. These aliens pose a dire threat to the Soviet Union, comrades. And so, must be. Destroyed! As we speak, President Crypto is in Bay City, attending a new cultural festival. And Orthopox? Conducting experiments in the Furon Mothership. There's only one way to deal with such men. Revolution! Uh-oh. That can't be good. <laughs> Greetings, comrade. Mother Russia sends her regards. You expect me to beg, human? No, little Fioran. I expect you to die. Mine's big. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Why did I start that way? Hey, everybody, how's it going? Um, I'm the Lex Gamer. Welcome to a new video. Uh, I know I'm a little late when it comes to... Okay. <laughs> oh, welcome to another video. Oh, why? Where did the music go? There it is. Welcome to <laughs> showing you Mr. Reprobed. Uh, like I said, I know I'm a little late, but. Okay. I thought I'd play with this and uh, maybe do a playthrough with you guys and go on this journey. It's been so long since I played a Destroyer Humans game. The last one I played was Path of the Furons, and that was back on the Xbox 360. And the one before that I played was Big Willy Unleashed. These KGB agents are trying to fricassee my motherboard! Hurry up! And then... What all I played there. Destroy him with one, I get two.
I've been blown to smithereens! Luckily, I was able to download a copy of my exquisite mind into this holopox unit just before the ship exploded. Gee, that is lucky. Virtual pox, huh? Kinda constricting, ain't it? Well, beggars can't be choosers. I need to bring in some big guns. Uh, know where I can get my hands on some. I did manage to jettison some data cores before the mothership was hit. You might be able to recover some weapons from them, if you can find any. But it certainly won't be easy. Okay, so, where are the data cores? That's just it! They could have entered the atmosphere at any time, in any place, and therefore landed anywhere on the planet. I've managed to locate only one. It was ejected after my holopox unit, so it landed quite nearby. What's a data core? You never studied, did you? A data core is a device used for storing weapons or other Furon technology. The outer casing is extremely dense and should have easily survived the fall to Earth. The only real trick will be finding them. I didn't bring any with me. Figured uh, heavy artillery ain't exactly the smoothest way to charm the jeans off a pacifist hippie chick. Oh, I knew it! I knew your unnatural interest in humans would bring us nothing but trouble! Whoa, 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 you're harsh in my buzz. Mellow out, Poxy. Easy for you to say. You weren't blown to pieces just seconds before restoring your own genitalia. Well, I guess there's nothing left to do but scout the area and find that data core. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, the last uh, game I played was uh, Path of the Furons back on the Xbox 360. And that one was alright. I, I didn't really... Focus. Kind of the... Yeah. Can somebody shoot me? Can I shoot me? I am not amused. <laughs> I gotta edit the, the goofy, the goofy yell. Yeah. I don't know why I did this. <laughs> Um... Ugh, oh, I miss games like these. Hello. Collect data core. There's a data core on top of that. Oh, if only you had some way to get it. Like, oh, I don't know. Old X teams. That sucks. I'm playing with the PS controller and using. I gotta remember the uh, place uh, Xbox layout. I gotta get myself an Xbox controller. So if I do play, there it goes. All right. So yeah, I played the last one. I played was Path of the Furon. It was fun. I didn't really. It was fun. I got. For me personally, I just. Oh, there. I got too bored with that one. I didn't really care for it. Um.
Yeah, I know. So I know. Path of the Fury Undead was a lot better for a lot of people. Or that I remember uh, <laughs> reading about. Uh, because I know for some people they didn't really care for um, Big Willy Unleashed. Me personally, I actually really did like um, Big Willy Unleashed. I thought, it was f I thought it was actually pretty fun. I would just go around for hours just destroying cities. <laughs> but, um, the second one was... spacecraft out of the sky, and yet the shriveled geriatric one somehow survived. These Jopas must be harder to kill than we thought. I spit on them! <laughs> Nonetheless, inform the Kremlin we shall proceed with the operation as planned. Tell them we need as much Revelate as they can ship, as quickly as they can ship it. Da, Agent Orincho. And our American distributor? He suspects nothing. In fact, he seemed quite enthusiastic about the whole idea. He thinks he'll be spreading revolution in a paper cup. And so he will. But not, I think, the sort he expects. Idealists. They spit on them! Pleh! Stalin, he understood. Ideas may start revolutions, but guns and gulags finish them. Well, no matter. Soon the citizens of Bay City will be embarking on a very bad trip. Saying. Yeah, so out of all the uh, destroying humans, I played the first one. Don't really remember a whole lot of it. I don't know why that person's running. Uh, yeah, the second one, though, I do have fond memories of the second one. The second one was my favorite on the uh, PS2. You get money. Okay, let's go talk to Box. Jeez, Box, my head's still spinning. What the hell's going on around here? Why are those Ruskies gunning for us? Frankly, I'm more concerned with how the KGB managed such a successful twin strike. They're not usually so organized. We need to find them, Crypto, before they spring any more surprises. Accuse hippies of helping KGB or ask how to find. I want to accuse hippies. I should have known. The drugs, the alcohol, the loose chicks, the signs, they were all there. It's obvious those hippies were trying to lure me in, so I'd let my guard down. Nice try, hippies. But I'm not just any mindless hedonist. I'm the best! Not only all the hippies. Don't worry, Pox. I've got this covered. I'll wipe out every one of those bastards for what they did to my guns, and you. Slow down, Crypto. I doubt hippies had much to do with ambushing you and destroying the mothership. Oh, damn. <laughs> On the other hand, their brains don't provide much usable DNA anyway. So knock yourself out, if you're so inclined. We're gonna find the KGP. Okay, so what? I just start knocking on doors and doing the slicing dice? You do not. The KGB are hardly likely to hang around if you just start indiscriminately blowing away humans. 
Yeah, well, I was just brainstorming. Well, stop. I've done a little research in the criminal files of the local constabulary. Apparently, there's one informant in Bay City who always knows what's going down on the streets. They call him the Freak. Oh. The Freak, huh? Yeah, I've heard about him. Cat's got connections all over town. He's kind of a burnout, though. From what I hear, he doesn't even need drugs <laughs> anymore. He lives in his own personal mental lava lamp. But if any of those stinky monkeys knows what the KGB are up to, I bet he does. And I suggest you locate him and find out what he knows. Oh, this chick had the audacity to call the police on crypto on me. What the? Huh, <laughs> I think I remember. Was this on the original? I think it was. Uh, start a party targeting enough humans with free limited force and we would just dance. No, stop! Yep, free low, baby. Oh, we got a <laughs> Use free load to start a party, which I did. Looking for a dude with his ear to the street. The kids call him the freak. You found him, but I'm all tapped out, man. The heat's coming down on me, you know. Try me next week. Yeah. Tell me you see guidance, yeah. Freak, in all your drug-induced visions, I'm sure you've gained much uh, wisdom. Hey, I'm just trying to find me Camino, man. No different from you. But I've fried my share of brain cells, that's for sure. Super. Which is why I seek your, uh, well, for lack of a better word, let's uh, call it guidance. Right on, Seeker. What can I do you for? Ask how to get it <laughs> faster. Ask how to stay healthy. Uh, what do you healthy? Let's say, for the sake of argument, that I cannot clone myself. How do I live a long and healthy life? Sex, sex, and more sex. And if you can't be with the one you love, honey, love the one you're with. Wow. You really are wise. <laughs> subject. You're boring the love beads off of me here. Let's talk about something else. Ask about the Russians. Well, what I need is information. What do you know about the Ivans in the cheap suits who crashed our party? You mean those KGB cats? Yeah, those dudes are straight, all right. They make Jack Lord look like Abby Hoffman. Only they didn't crash, man. They were invited. Who invited the KGB? Who? invited the KGB to uh, harsh our buzz. From what I hear, it was that cat who leads the commune. I don't know his real name, but he calls himself Coyote Bongwater. Which is pretty righteous. Supposedly, he's like this master of tantric meditation and spiritual healing. All I know is cat's got the chicks eaten out of his hookah.
Chicks. <laughs> Pong water so chicks. So he's catnip to Las Gadas, eh, amigo? For sure. All the chicks really dig him the most. Up to them, Coyote Bongwater'd be running that commune like a king, which he practically is anyway. Bongwater's location. Okay, you piqued my interest. Where do I find Coyote Bongwater? Well, from what I hear, he's kind of paranoid. Doesn't hang out at the park for long. I heard he's got a pad someplace, but I don't know where. What I do know is he's cutting into my livelihood. Dude's been handing out this new turn on a drink like in a in a can. He calls it Revelade. Ain't that a bitch? If you want him, that's your in. Find some Revelade and you'll probably find Coyote Bong Water. What's Revelade? What's in this Revelade stuff? He claims it's like an all-natural elixir that enhances your cosmic awareness or something. Bonewater says it's the first shot in the global revolution against the man. Great. Great. Like the monkeys aren't revolting enough already. Thanks, Freak. I gotta go find Coyote Bongwater. I can't believe I just said that. Oh. 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 <laughs> Let's All go. right. And next week, we'll start one on one Shakti tutoring. I'll be giving each of you private, hands on instruction in Kriyanish Pati, the highest state of tantric arousal. These sessions can run 10 hours. So eat a good breakfast. <gasps> <laughs> That's it for today. Remember, wherever you go, I'll be there. The shine in your Japan, the sparkle in your China. Bodhisattva, Bodhisattva. Ah! Goddamn flashbacks. Guess again, sunshine. Nice little setup. Guns, cheap Russian booze, teenage bra-burning hippie chicks. Man after my own heart, if I had one. Then join us! We're about to free the people of this city. Soon they'll see the truth and embrace our beautiful new utopia. The Bay City Super Organic Communal Collective and Compost Farm. Are you with us, man? Am I with you? Dude, you're bogarting the brain stems. I'm gonna have to kill you. Yeah, yeah. Kill me? Run along, comrade. My men can handle this. Passive best. What a crumb. Bread for bread. And I think on that note, I'm assuming this has an auto save feature. Hopefully it does. Uh, I think on that note, we're going to end it right here. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this as much as I have. This bring back actually quite a bit of memories. Um, please leave a like, I'd really appreciate it, it lets me know that you guys enjoy what I do, and uh, it also encourages me to do more, um, and also, if you want to be part of the, this whole thing, uh, sus uh, consider subscribing, and on that note, I'll see everybody in the next video, <laughs> bye.